Boys and girls, today we're going to learn how to use a ruler. You might think it's simple, but some of you make a very common careless error that I will explain to you so you never make that error again. It says use your ruler to help you solve this problem. The drawing below shows the bookmark Becky bought. Now what a lot of you do, boys and girls, when you're using a ruler, you start with number one. If I start at number one, I lose the, this whole inch. I lose that inch. That is an inch that counts. So you cannot start at number one when you are measuring with a ruler. You must start at zero to get a true and accurate measurement. When you start at zero, you will see that it is not exactly five, and it is also not six. It falls right in between the five and the six. So let's look at our choices. Is it four and a half? No, it is greater than that. Four and a half would fall in between four and five. But it is greater than that. So four and a half is not a choice. Is it five? It is not exactly five because there is still a line. Let's look at D. Is it six? No, this line does not come up to six. It is between five and six because I began at zero. So the correct answer is five and a half. C. Remember, when you are using a ruler, always start at zero.